Dan Ayar, acting head coach, how much of a surprise did that come as? It was, yeah, a uh, big surprise. Um, a bit of a shock, really. I know results probably haven't been uh, what everybody was wanting, but I, I, I do know how, how hard Stuart Donlan and, and Basil were working. So in that respect, it came, came as a big shock. But um, yeah, it's been, been thrown upon me and you know, I'll do the best I can. And you know, you worked under Basil as a, as a player and a assistant coach. What did you see of, of him leaving? Did you, do you think he was doing the, the right thing? Yeah, I thought, you know, honestly, I thought he, he worked very hard. Um, you know, I can't knock him for that. He put a lot of hours in. The structures and the, the things that he was trying to Im, employ into the team was, were very good. Um, some of his ideas were, were really good. So, um, you know, I, I think we've shown in patches this year that we, we can we can play well, we can be a good team. We, unfortunately, we just haven't been consistent with that, and you know that's um, it's probably cost Basil his job. Consistency, you know, it's a tough thing to, to come by. How do you see it, it changing around here? It is it, it is tough, but it's, it's doable. You know, the, the the teams at the top of the table do it week in week out, so it is doable. It's not mission impossible. We just I've got some good players here, um, and they just need to start maybe believing themselves a bit more and and doing the things that. You know that they know they can do. Um, just um, and, and it's really it's as simple as that. You get a bit of confidence, and um, you know I'm sure you can see, you'll see a different team. You know, you were, like you were just saying in there, you were playing six months ago. Uh, how, how does it feel now to be sort of in the top position as a as a head coach? Yeah, it's it's weird, really. Um, it's not something that probably that I wanted. It's not something that um, you know. If you'd have said six months ago you'd be head coach, I'd have laughed in your face. Um, but this is reality. This is where we're at. Um, I've been asked to, to do the job, and like I say, I'll do, I'll do the best I can, um, whether it be for one week or, or six months or whatever it might be. You know, you've spoken about you know uh, really loving coaching. It was the ambition always to be a, a head coach eventually? Yeah, it's probably something that I, I've, I've coached for a number of years, um, you know, at different levels and different ages and things like that. But probably over the last four or five years, I've really thought you know yeah, I'd like to to have a crack at being a head coach. Um, but I also understand that that you, you know you need to serve serve your time as a, as a, a you know, a youth coach or you know, a, 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 an assistant, things like that. So, you know, I'm, you know, I'm smart enough, I think, to, to know that. But again, things don't always work out the way the way you'd like. And this, this, like I said, this is where I'm at. I've, I've been thrown into the, the job, and I'll do everything I can to, to be successful. Do you see it's sort of a, a, a great lesson on the way to that uh, that full time head coach role, or, or, or are you looking to uh, to really prove a point here now? No, obviously I want to do well. Um, I'll, you know, I'm testing myself now against some of the best coaches and best teams in, you know, in, in Super League. So I want to be successful and I want to do well. Um, just because I'm inexperienced doesn't mean I'm not going to be any good. So, um, yeah, you know, I'll do the best I can, mate. And um, you know, I, while I'm doing that, I'll be, it's a good experience for me along the way. And it's a short turnaround, you know, since you, you were landed in this position to, to the game have you managed to change anything or is it a case of keeping things the same and, and just trying to tighten things up a bit yeah absolutely well, you know there won't be any any big changes or anything it's um we'll keep things the same i think it'd be be too hard on the players to do that um and again like i said before that when we do things right um things that, that basil put in place um we're pretty good so there's no need to go away from that um so yeah but you know get some smiles on faces get the lads enjoying it again um, get some confidence into them and we'll go out we'll hopefully play well on Saturday we'll see what gets us This game on Saturday you know witness a team that have you know been around your position in the table um, is it something you look at do you target these games a bit harder? No not personally I've never, I've never done that I've always been or when I played I've always been one you know let's, let's go into every game and play, play to the best that you can play and that's all you can do and if you do that, I'm sure nine times out of ten you put yourself in the mix to win a game, and that's all I've been looking for the lads to do on Saturday. Play the best that you can do. I can't ask for any more. But if they do that, I'm confident we can win. Where do you see the threats coming from this this Western this team? Obviously, they've got. I think Dennis is putting together a really good squad there. Um, they've got Kevin Brown, who's back for it. I spoke to Kevin a few weeks back at, uh, when he first injured his his, his ankle. Uh, he was hoping to be back for this game. He got back last week, so he's got a game under his belt. So he, he's a massive threat. Is Kev? Uh, he's a fantastic player. Obviously, he's, um, his brother-in-law, Gareth Hawk, um, but they play on the left side together, so they're, um, they're pretty good players. Um, so we'll have to keep an eye on those two, and obviously, Hamby playing at Wesley plays at half-back or full-back, he's, um, he's probably as good as anybody in the league at the moment who's running games. So they've got some quality players, um, but, you know, so have we. So um, we're not going to worry about them too much. We'll respect them, what they're good at, but 
we'll concentrate on what we do and if like I say if we get our game right um, we'll give ourselves every chance. And have the boys been there, you know, giving you any stick calling you gaffer or anything like that, yeah? <laughs> no, um, I've not had gaffer. Like I say I won't I won't accept that, I won't want that. Um, just treat me the, the way they've always treated me, you know, the, the walk in nine times out of ten they'll probably all punch me and try to beat me up and stuff and you know that, that's fine by me you know while we're while we're in there we're, while we're on the field you know the the, the professional the heads on and they know that um you know they'll, i'm sure i'd like to think what i say they'll do um so but yeah i don't want to be treating any different i'm still just a, the same guy just because i've got the the title head coach it, it, don't, it won't change me it won't make me any different and finally you know it's been a bit of a, a time of change at cast recently what, what's your view on it yeah, obviously, you know, we, we're, I think, being honest, the, the club has had its ups and downs in the last probably 18 months or so. Um, there's been people come and go, there's been a lot of changes, but um, again, I've, I've got this, this club close to my heart and I want it to do really well. I think it's um, the things that I've been hearing in the last couple of weeks, it's um, very positive. So um, hopefully, you know, there'll be a couple of announcements in the next few weeks and um, yeah, we, we, this club's, you know, it's on the up.